as you know, right now the world is in kind of a chaotic situation. We have a lot of issues in the UK, in America, in other countries like Yemen and such. So what I'll be doing is be dropping a, drop a single link in the description. It's one of those link tree kind of accounts. It's my own one. Um, on there you would see a box for Black Lives Matter, a box for um, NHS hopefully, and a box for um, the Yemen situation, any other kind of information there. You can ignore the rest because the rest is just like my portfolio, my YouTube and everything. You're already watching it, so you're already on my YouTube. But yes, um, uh, it should all the information should be there. Uh, and if you want to donate and you want to research more about these uh, situations that we have, that's happening right now and how you can willingly help then yeah click the link in the uh, description and it should take you to the link tree page and then from there you can click on each link and it has enough hopefully enough relevant information for you but yes thank you very much Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, it's not going to be higher or lower because <laughs> I need to find someone actually to be the guest. If you are interested, just hit me up on my socials um, and I'll talk to you about it and stuff like that. And we can discuss maybe we might be on the next episode, but hopefully you see another episode coming up. But today um, we will be looking at the documentaries I would recommend for you to watch if you ever are into fashion or going into the kind of field or like just have a general interest because I've seen a lot of youtubers before doing like oh best magazines best this best that I've seen so many like twitter threads doing the same thing and I'm just there like might as well make a video about it yeah but anyway these are some of my recommendations um I can't keep track of the number because I might think of some midway through the video so I think I'll probably like tell you the number here or not or whatever it depends on how long i want to take to edit this but yeah anyway this will be the first one okay so the first documentary that i will be referencing or talking about in this will be the well it's very well known the mcqueen documentary or otherwise known as title mcqueen so the mcqueen documentary takes an insight into mcqueen's life from when he started out in the kind of Central St. Martins, studying there, um, somehow managing to get his way in, stuff like that, kind of his style and take all the way to his passing. And it kind of goes through all the different stages that he went through, all the different kind of iconic moments. And it's different perspectives from his friends, his family, like all those kind of things. And it kind of accumulates into the almost a quite a beautiful documentary about him. Um, literally from that documentary that made me buy books all on McQueen like the multiple like variations of the books all about his life his collection and stuff like that because it goes so in depth and it makes you realize how much outside influences can affect a designer and his way and train of thought and the struggles that he went through in order to build his beautiful collections that he made so yeah that's one I would recommend you to watch that because um, it's on Netflix actually. I don't know if it's still going to be there by the time I upload this video, hopefully it is, but it's definitely one for you to check out. So yeah, that's the first one. Second one that I recommend will be the Dior and I documentary which looks at Raf Simmons joining Dior for a short period of time and it's kind of taken from well it's kind of an insight into the whole world of Dior and what he's had to deal with and what he did and how he made the beautiful collections that he did and all the different stages and it kind of brings a new light into the world of fashion you're seeing every single stage of it you're seeing the kind of design elements you're seeing the kind of ateliers what they have to deal with you're seeing the kind of revisions the references and stuff like that and generally it made me feel a lot more attached to Raf as a designer and as a person 
more than just looking at his collection because it made me realize okay this is the way he thinks this is the way he works so maybe i can implement that in my own style maybe take elements of his work of like how he works into my own work and just generally just appreciate him more so yeah definitely would recommend to watch this one um not sure where it being streamed because i torrented most of my um well most of this uh, collection of videos that you're going to be i'm going to be referencing so i don't directly know where to watch this one um there probably are streaming services that have it on file if not um uh, someone could try and hook you up with it i might put a list of like where you can watch these actually documentaries in the actual description as well as the links as previously discussed so yeah that's my second one number three i don't know why i did six there number three um i'll be recommending to watch margella in his own words it is a documentary made by i believe dog wolf it's a quite a new documentary it came out this year and honestly because i'm a huge fan of margella i would i basically jumped on this as soon as i could and it is amazing because you're hearing from his perspective you never actually get to see his face which is perfectly understandable but you're hearing him describe all the different stages that he went through all the different shows that he went through you see intercuts of like all the footage that they could get of the shows and stuff like that it's very in-depth and you're seeing it from his perspective so you're seeing the way he works from his own perspective and you're seeing the old designs the old garments his references to his family the way he grew up and everything so really if you want to watch if you want to learn a lot more about Margiela this will be the perfect documentary for you and yeah as I said this one will probably be on I believe they put it on iTunes now and other like online stores to watch the film um, as I said before I torrented most of my films so eh, it happens but I would definitely recommend that you watch this because if you want if you're interested in Margiela this is kind of the perfect documentary for you but yeah that's number three number four so i will be talking about the dries van noten documentary called dries it is made by the same people that made margello in its own world and it's very much the kind of similar concept of it goes very in depth with the mind state behind dries van noten's designs behind all the scenes like it's very just watch it <laughs> if you want to watch it it's probably going to be on the same streaming services as this other dog wolf um Margiela situation and it kind of shows an in-depth kind of mindset of how g's are known and designs and where the ideas come from and everything behind it so it's definitely one i would recommend you watch um me personally i've only seen elements of it i haven't actually seen the whole thing yet because i need time to digest every other documentary that i'm watching when it comes to fashion but no, this is definitely one I would say watch because I watch the trailers, I've watched little clips of it and I've kind of seen notes and what's written about it and it seems like it's amazing and I will definitely be watching it soon. So you should be watching it soon. So yeah, that is, was that number four? Yeah, that was number four. So yeah, that's number four. Number f 10 five <laughs> i don't know i did 10 number five so there is a documentary on youtube called anti-fashion 90s in english and let's let's say that is one of been that's been my main reference point when i do stuff to do with anti-fashion deconstruction because it talks about it talks about yoji yamamoto it talks about rika okubo it talks about all of them and their processes that they went through it does there's little behind the scene there's behind the scenes shots of people of like the way the ateliers work and stuff like that that people wouldn't normally see and it kind of goes in depth with the kind of politics behind it because anti-fashion was not an accepted movement when it first came in because everyone wanted to jump on parisian fashion and that was like that's fashion design in paris and that's that kind of kind of cliche chanel kind of style dior style that kind of style and when you anti-fashion came in which is the japanese wave and that kind of big shock to the fashion industry it was it does talk about the kind of media reaction and the people saying oh well it's just a shop full of black garments it's not anything interesting and it kind of looks at that as well and it looks at all the elements that each of these each of these designers had to face so that's definitely one for you to watch and it is on youtube 
um if it does go off youtube yeah i will try and find links but i know it's it's been there for a couple of years now so i don't think it's going to go anywhere anytime soon so yeah that is number five so number six so one that i've only recently seen now and it kind of is very relevant to this day and age is called the next black it's a documentary on YouTube, all talking about the different stages that fashion needs to go through to change. So it talks about, well, it does talk about sustainability, but it also talks about growing fabrics. It talks about, um, talks about embedding technology into fabrics and kind of the future of fashion to almost be that the garment is no longer just a garment. It's also a piece of revolutionary technology. It's also a piece of fabric that has never been done before it's kind of the different stages that new designers have come into play in doing it does mention about adidas and how they do embed like uh what they call it accelerators and trackers into the garments to track the players like respiration check the heart rate the movement rate everything like that embedded into the fabrics to the point where the person doesn't actually feel it like they talk about growing fabrics as well from a designer that grew fabrics from scratch um they talk about how there was a designer that made a dress for Lady Gaga that was basically a working factory in the dress where it would make bubbles and stuff like that and it would basically be working while the person would be wearing it. So, and there's other people on it as well that are very like forward focused and I feel like in order to understand fashion, you have to understand where fashion is going to go towards. So, that one is on YouTube because I, I believe the creators of the actual documentary are a YouTube channel. So I would recommend for you to watch it um, if you want to know where future, where the fashion industry is going to go towards and what things to look out for and how to kind of, if you are designing, what to consider for the later stages. So that is number six. Yeah, that's number six. I, I keep on forgetting how to count now. Yeah, that is number six. Whatever, number six. <laughs> so my final suggestion would be number seven number seven isn't directly a documentary it's a youtuber by the name of louis parent i believe and he does like these videos where he goes behind the scenes in a lot of shows that he's like a lot of shows because he's basically he's a photographer cinematographer and youtuber and just generally everyone in, in seems like in the fashion industry in Paris knows him so he ends up going behind the shows literally just taking the camera and recording and talking to people talking to models talking to the actual designers because he's basically friends of all of the designers so he ends up being at all these shows and literally filming all the behind the scenes of the runways the showrooms just the kind of final checks and all that type of stuff and yeah, honestly, I literally have him on like my main watching kind of schedule because I always love to watch how these shows are built and how these shows are made and what's the processes that they go through. It's like, okay, this is a showroom. I don't like this look. Maybe change this, 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 this. And he's just there with the camera like, yep, cool. This is just recording all of this and having a conversation with all of them. So I would definitely recommend you subscribe to his channel or watch his videos because it kind of gives you an in-depth kind of behind the scenes that a lot of documentaries don't they can try to give but it's never really the true feeling behind it so that has been my seven recommendations for what to watch and what to look out for when it comes to wanting to know a bit more about the industry i know this is quite a short video compared to my previous video well definitely compared to higher low higher low was 40 minutes geez that was long compared to this but um, yeah, this will be a shorter video because it's just a quick one because right now, as I said at the beginning, I'm still looking for people who I want to be on the higher low game show. And then if you want to just contact me via my social medias and hopefully it's people that are maybe not know as much in fashion. But if you do know, if, if you do know about fashion, just yeah, you can still be on it. So we can, it'll be a different kind of vibe. It'll be a different conversation, but Hopefully you learned a bit of like something new to watch and hopefully you learned something today. Um, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. You know what to do because every YouTuber says the same thing and some of them don't now. So yeah, and make sure to hit the notification bell because as I said before, I don't know when I'm going to be uploading because it's such a sporadic kind of schedule that I have. So 
I don't know, I might be uploading tomorrow, I might be open, uploading next month, you don't know. So, make sure you hit the notification bell to keep track of it. So yeah, peace out people.